You are now ready to start writing a simple surface shader from scratch. It will make the object a single colour, chosen from a colour picker in the inspector. As it's a surface shader, lighting effects will be automatically added by Unity. To demonstrate shaders for 3D models from now on, I'm going to use a dragon. The files are included with this lecture, so download them if you want them and open the scene. Create a new surface shader called Tint Surface Shader and open it. Delete everything inside the first curly brackets. First, let's add the general structure back in, following what we did in the first video in this section. First, the properties section, then the subshader section, and inside the subshader section, Add CG program and NCG. The HLSL portion of the code will go between these. Start with the pragma line, hash pragma surface surf lambert. As a reminder, this lets the shader know to expect a surface shader called surf and to use the lambert lighting model. Add the surf function next. The function won't return anything, so use the void keyword in the function line. Surf has two parameters. The first is an input variable called in, and the second is a surface output variable called o. Prefix with in out, which works a bit like ref in C sharp. We can set o inside the surf function. Input is a struct that we'll write in a moment. It contains the data passed into the shader from the model. Surface output describes the properties of the surface. For the moment we'll just use albedo, which is a fixed three variable and gives the diffuse colour of the surface. After the subshader, add a fallback diffuse. As a reminder, this is always needed for surface shaders because some of the passes required to render it correctly are in the fallback shader. Add the input struct next. Even if we're not using anything from the struct, it cannot be empty. Unity will show an error if you do leave it empty. One of the things that can go here is a float3 called world pos, which contains the world space position. Add it in. We won't actually use this variable in this video. These variable names can't be changed. The information is supplied to the input struct by Unity. We'll add a tag in too. Just below subshader, add tags with render type set to opaque to tell Unity that it's an opaque object. Make the shader colour the surface green to start with by setting the albedo in the surf function. So o.albedo equals fix3010. In Unity, create a new material called Tinted Surface Material and add the shader you made. Assign the material to the dragon if you're using it. It should be bright green. Let's add a colour picker so that we can set the colour to whatever we want. In properties, add underscore colour, name it colour tint, with a variable type colour, and add a default value 1111. Remember, this is just so that we can assign the variable from the inspector. To have that variable in the shader, we have to declare it again between the CG lines. So add fixed for underscore color. The names here and the names in the properties section must match. Next, set the albedo to underscore color. Save and go back to Unity. You should be able to change the color using the color picker. You've made your first surface shader.